every day fishing is, is different, which is one of the things that's so cool about it. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. We heard there was a good bite um, up north, so we decided to go out to a wreck. We tried the beach and it wasn't very good. It was just dirty and no, no one was really catching many fish. Trolling is a common tactic that people use to catch fish. It's uh, pretty good and versatile. But even though, you know, how you troll may be similar, your tactics and how you wield it will be different. For example, where do you troll over? You troll over structure, you know, on top, on the bottom, temperature, color, a random area. You just don't ever really know where you're gonna go till you get out there. Today we were trolling at a place called MR, um, hoping to catch you know, a variety of fish. Kingfish are pretty popular this time of year, but there's a lot of fish that'll hit. And uh, with, you know, with bottom fishing, you know, going for a snapper, a grouper, a sea bass, um, the advantage is you know, they're gonna be in structure because they need it for protection. The bait's gonna be in structure for protection. So you know, you go to that structure, you'll find the fish if they're there. You know, they're not really gonna be around here, around there, like a pelagic fish, like a kingfish would be. Maybe right off it, maybe a couple hundred yards off of it. So we're kind of in search mode, just trying to uh, rule areas out to find the fish. And on this day, we seen a lot of bait pods and we saw fish hitting in the bait. At first we were, we were seeing Bonita hit. You can kind of see them, we got up close, just the way they hit, kind of that roll and kind of that football shape and splashing on the water. And we caught a few Bonita. And we, we caught some kingfish here and there as we're working around, hitting different wrecks, going in between wrecks in the same general area. But it wasn't um, until we started seeing kind of a different bait pod. Rather than seeing Bonita hitting, we saw small mackerel, maybe a Spanish, maybe a king. We could see them skying. They were hitting different, and you could tell they were different fish. So our thought was, okay, maybe they're not hanging with a Bonita, we're not catching them with them, but they could be with this bait, they could be going after those small mackerel. You know, it was different, and we paid attention to that. And when we started trolling in that area, we started catching kings. Kingfish, isn't it? Kingfish. Pretty consistent kings when we stayed on that bait pod where the mackerel were jumping. And we were using our recorder and our GPS because there wasn't really much on the bottom. We were off the wreck and just working this triangle and kind of gritting it out. And then when we were catching fish, we tried to stay tight to that area. You know, normally you try to match the hatch, but you don't always have to. I mean, today they were hitting our pogies good, and we would do things to get them excited. Like when we got in that bait pot and we could see fish and see bait, we'd take pogies and throw them out the front. And then we'd, we'd throw some out by our baits, you know, one or two here and there, because they scatter, they get the fish excited. You know, they'll swim with your baits, so they'll attract more fish. Pretty exciting them screaming drag and just you know fighting around the boat you know sometimes they, they circle around you gotta do a little dance you know go in between move around rods and we had to work that area you know watch on the gps and you know basically fish it i mean that's that's fishing it's not just catching fish it's figuring where the fish are every day figuring out how to get them to take your bait and just adjusting constantly number seven yeah Got pretty crazy here. That was the end. double header there, wasn't it? Yeah. He had to leave one on and he stayed on, but uh we cut a couple lines just to get him in, didn't we? Yeah, other than uh we missed a few in the morning and uh had one cut our, our wire. 
Otherwise, uh, we kept pretty good. Pretty much non-stop. Um, mm -hmm. Especially every time we hit that one particular area, it must have been really tight school. Yeah. And uh, you come across that double-headed, you know, sometimes. Yeah. And it wasn't the actual wreck. I mean, we're not riding right over the wreck, but I mean, I didn't notice anything right where we were catching fish other than bait was around us. But sometimes I guess they just hang, you know, one, one area they just... Well, sometimes kingfish will stay off the off the um, wreck until they're ready to come in and do a frenzy. Mm -hmm. And so that's why a lot of times I'll stop a half mile before I get to the, the actual, um, you know, structure that I'm fishing and see if I can pick uh, them up. Yeah. And if I pick one up going in, then like I do like we did that day we marked the spot and we just keep working that area. Guys know what they're doing, don't they? Yeah. Bonita. That's a fat boy, don't they? Like I said, the fish, the bite was really good. We left before one, and uh, was back at the dock. Was able to run pretty good before the water got rough, and uh, we had a really good day.